Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Um, let me pull up the live on my computer. It doesn't um, show me until we start. Um, let's see who's all here. Say hi if you're here. I know it takes a couple seconds. Okay, I see me on there. Go ahead, the brain is a good idea. <laughs> How's everyone's week going? I'm just waiting on Sam to get um get everything settled, share this to everyone so you all can see it. Um, so excited to be here with you this week to work on um, this necklace with the art deco cut. I'm really glad that when I just picked this up, it didn't like pick up in a big tangled mess because that usually happens to me. So what has everyone been up to? Comment, I can see the comments today. Hey, Lori, welcome, I'm glad. I love that you always tune in with the story. It makes me happy to have people keep coming back. It tells me that um, people like me. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Yes, I am. Thank you again for the cookies. They were so good. <laughs> yeah, I've been um, I've been working on designs for the classes all day today, <laughs> on and off, between eating. Um, things our refrigerator is broken so that's fun <laughs> has everyone got their beads picked out look how good the white looks like this way you could totally see the necklace great like that's amazing so this is the necklace we're working on i forgot that my overhead was off but um, so we're working with the new Art Deco cut from Sam. Um, they are gorgeous. I'm so excited about the ones going out this weekend and I don't work tomorrow so I can buy all of them. <laughs> oh, what kind of water? Like the lake? Hey, Shara, hey, Julie. Lori, I'm so jealous of your dishwasher. Um, my dishwasher is called my boyfriend. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Sam. <laughs> I never want to like interrupt you. It's like, it was no, like, you're good. I'm you're good. here. <laughs> I pulled up the comments too. Oh, we have so many lovely people with us. Hi, Angela. Say hi if you're here. Come and say hi. Hi, Helen. I'm gonna take my art. so white. I'm gonna take my <laughs> breath before we begin today. Yes. Will you breathe? Will you take a breath with me as we this world just to bring some calm into this world? I can't see my eyes. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, let's let's have some fun today, Rachel. Yes. Sam, did you pick out beads? I took out beads. Do you want to see my beads? Yes. Okay, let me start my video on my overhead. Oh, close See, my, 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 my ankle's bad, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> okay. Lori, I don't have a clothes washer either, so you're just winning all the way around. <laughs> Hi, Amelia. So what time on is the it mat? in Hawaii? Oh, I still have one of those. You got your DZI agate there. I sure do. I got it. I just went digging because like the only tubular type thing I had were these were some like barrels. So I went this direction with the diopside and the and the jade itty bitty rounds. Yes, I, I you know what's funny is I actually number one, I've been using those all day. <laughs> I just choked in my head a little bit. I'm sorry, everyone. Are you OK? Um, <laughs> I'm fine. It happens more often than I'd care to admit. I'm so glad you're still um, with us. <laughs> I use the um the itty bitty jade and my like so you know how I always do I do the design for the class that like if you have these from Sam's Beach up you make that one so we're focusing on the art deco but then I also did um so art deco but those just released this week, other than the strawberry quartz cut, which I don't know if everyone's been able to get. This was there a while ago too. So I also did a design with a different um, style of bead 
for everyone that's still waiting on their art go cut so they can still participate. But I use, um, I use, yeah, I Ooh, what, the, which one do you use there? So this is a uh, car, uh, like car of jade from you from like ever ago. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, these little moonstones. I don't know if I got those from you. And then, um, can you, um, spotlight the overheads instead? Of course. Okay. So that's a lot better. Okay. The light's not too terrible on that. I tried really hard y'all. So you can see the carved jade. This is the moonstone and then the itty bitty jade round. Oh, we're both using jade rounds today. I know I got two. uh, I got like two strands of them. So I'm officially addicted. You know, we were going to do, we're still going to do a Chinese class, but they're so versatile. I literally use them in everything. Sam, I have like three new designs to show you and I use them in all of them. Oh, that's so great. Um, Lori says my black and white beads are very art deco and I totally agree. Yes. Um, I have some of those. <laughs> They're ready to be used. Um, I was going to ask about your bracelet. Oh, you mean my bracelet from last week's class? It's Except so pretty. I, I did in before the last week's class. So this is what yeah, it looks like it's on. So Oh, it's so great. Um, for those who want to learn how to make this, um, I'll post a link. I've, we have all of the past classes now uploaded. Um, I'm, I'm going to be a YouTuber, so I'm going to make millions of dollars. <laughs> Rachel after Lair. start doing toys. <laughs> um. <laughs> Here, I'll post a link in the live stream. And that's where you can save that link. It's actually like the new place to go for our weekly class because all the past classes, um, go back to speaker view. Oh my God, I totally can't do technology today. Um, I can't do it any day, so. <laughs> I know I've built a whole website this week and yet I can't even function Zoom. Um, so on that link I just posted, you can find all eight of the past classes that we've done are totally free to watch. Rachel sharing her expertise with, I can't believe you've come up with eight designs already for classes, Rachel. Well, I was trying to think of them earlier, and I was like, oh my gosh, what were they? <laughs> so many. I know, we, we've gone through so many. And then um, that's also the page where we'll, Rachel and I are going to start building out, like, to post classes in advance. Um, mm -hmm. So you have a bit with the supply list, so you have time to gather supplies. Um, and if any time we're using beads from Sam from the shop, um, we're doing our best to like have those posted and then put two weeks before we do a class with them, just so you have time to get them in your hands and you could beat along with us. We're that we're we're really trying to plan them out so that everyone can participate. It's our goal. Awesome. Um, so um, we're also going to be doing another, I mean, I already have the design. I didn't, if you want me to show it for the, the second Art Deco class. Yeah, that's that's in a couple weeks. Like, is that in a yeah, couple weeks? It is. I did the second, I have the second Art Deco class. I have the, the can I spoil things? Yeah. <laughs> I have a design for the 2B class and I have a design for the uh, Chinese class, if everyone likes it. Hi! Yeah, we have some more people. If you haven't said hi yet, say hi. So this is this is my other Art Deco class design. Is it, I, uh, that's my face. I could just see my face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see oh, please. <laughs> now I see your face. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, guys. I haven't seen these. You know, this is new. I did this today. So these ones, I have like a little bit of holiday inspiration. Get your tinies too, because I definitely use mostly tinies on the bottom. Um, there's uh, the tiny rubies, tiny pyrite beads, which are gorgeous. I got an advanced copy of those. 
<laughs> so you definitely should get those. They're so pretty. I love pyrite. Um, this pyrite up here is one that you sold a long time ago, but you could obviously use any bead there. Um, and there's the jade is in there. And then this is really tangled because I also threw extra ear wires in here. Um, <laughs> So these are, I was thinking for the Chinese class. I don't know if you like it or not. Wow. I might come up with something different. We'll see. We haven't but done I mean, a lot of hammering projects. I love hammering. I do a lot of hammering. The, um, the, the Art Deco ones are also hammered. So that's basically you made some ha hammered head pins. That's like, I'm, that's yeah. the perfect technique to learn. And they're, it's so easy. Um, and then also I have the two beads. Oh my gosh, you put, you doubled them up. I did, it was a pain, so <laughs> that'll be fun to teach. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is Moonstone too. Wow, you've been on a, you're on a roll, Rachel. I, that's what, it, today is, is Sunday and tomorrow is admin day. <laughs> that's what today, I decided. Tomorrow is your admin day? That's why I decided I was going to take pictures today. And then I was like, I'm going to lose everything in the process. I'm not like, that's how I lose all my stuff before the lives is I decide to take pictures. So. Right. Do you ever Tomorrow find that, that, that quartz point that went flying? I did. I did. It was under the tool chest I'm sitting on. <laughs> very good. I'm very glad you found yeah. it. <laughs> um, all right. If you're joining us, um, let's, we're going to do a quick check in. How's everyone feeling today? I really oh. like on any on live events that uh, it so helps to like feel connected to each other when we just share <laughs> one one word of how you're doing. <laughs> Angela, I promise you, I slept. <laughs> I slept well last night, though. I don't. I haven't been sleeping well, and I did sleep well last night. My boyfriend's like, "You're so happy this morning." <laughs> so. I always know that I haven't had a good night of sleep if I go to bed by the time Rachel wakes up in New York because she wakes up at like 5 a.m. sometimes and if I get a text from her <laughs> then and I'm still awake then I know I have <laughs> I have not done a good job <laughs> yes and, you you'll you'll send me texts at like three in the morning my time I, mean, I guess that's midnight your time but uh yeah I'm definitely oh. asleep at that point <laughs> I know <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad <laughs> I try to send texts as I think of them or I, they'll never get sent, Rachel. So yes, <laughs> my phone is always on silent except for calling. So don't worry about waking me. You won't. <laughs> okay, good. Kathy says she's re-energized. Um, Helen says she's excited. Um, and Jamie says she's sleepy but wants to learn. So let's jump right in. I'll like quickly announce mm -hmm. last week's giveaway winner. She happens to be in the comments mm -hmm. joining us. Um, so last week we gave a five piece set of the Art Deco cut and the Amethyst and the winner is Kathy David. Is it, I think it's Davison. I don't want to say it wrong. It's, it's Davison. Davison. I had in my head is Davidson. So congrats, Kathy. Yeah. Um, we'll get those out to you soon. And then this week's giveaway, I just told Rachel was, we got to do one, it's an Art Deco class. So we got to do one more Art Deco. Show it here. My light sounds good. Rachel, this is the lapis. I it never thought so anyone dark. would say their light is not as good as me because I just don't feel like. <laughs> I'm can you even see that? So hard. I can see it. I can see hints of it. It'll be a surprise. I know it's just like a mystery bead, but I promise they're really pretty. And there's a photo posted to the group wall if you want to see them. Um, already cool. Like, that's we did the giveaway. Art. We yeah. announced the giveaways. Are you ready um, to start? A hundred percent. Am I rushing? Okay. Um, oh, I didn't get more beads out though. Uh, <laughs> I need to get more of the beads out. But so we're gonna start um, with our little loop, or not our little loop. Sorry, we're gonna start with the main chain. So okay. what you're gonna need, preferably if oh, my nose is like running. If 20 gauge will fit through your beads, um, I would go with 20 gauge. I wanted to do this in sterling silver and I 
have been very cheap and didn't order anymore. So I did 22 gauge, which is fine, but 20 is better. So if 20 will fit three beads, use that. I can because get 18. Are we going to the thicker, the better? No, 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 no. 20 gauge. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. I was like, I'm worried for a second. Okay. No, no, 20 or 22. Um, I mean, I think AP is going to be too bulky. We don't want this to be a super bulky design. Totally. But um, I would have preferred to use 20 for mine, but I have like half a foot left and it's just not going to happen. <laughs> so we'll get that ordered eventually. I'm just being so cheap. So you're going to need that. You're going to need your main beads. If you're using the art deco beads, grab those. Um, and then we're also going to work on the uh, other loops. But, and for the the galaxy wrap loop, um, which part of me is probably the part? So for the yeah. galaxy wrap loops, you're gonna here. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to your overhead for a second. That's okay. Um, it'd be cool if we could do both of me. Um, for the I galaxy can do, wrap, I could do all four. How about that? Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Until I'm working on stuff, that's cool. Okay. Then we can talk. Um, for the galaxy wrap loop, we're gonna use um. The, the main one going through the middle bead, we're using two different types of wire, sorry. The, this one, I use 22. Again, if 20 will fit through this bead, it's better. And I'll tell you why once we start working on it. And then for the, um, the galaxy wrapping, I use 28 gauge, 26 okay. would also work great. Great. Again, just because I'm running low on sterling silver, and I really wanted to do it in silver. Um, I do need to get more of my jade beads out because apparently I did not pull more of those out. Oh no! I know. I definitely have some more. I just like I prepped everything. I cleaned up and I prepped everything ahead of time, and I like moved everything. It's amazing. Like even labeling your bins, you still can't find anything. <laughs> Boy. I'm sure many can relate. They're all labeled, and I it even says Jade on the outside, and I can never find it. Uh, hi, Jill. Welcome. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, Jade. Perfect. I'm sorry, everyone, for being such a mess. <laughs> hi, Jill. Okay, perfect. I'm not going to need a lot. So... This type of wrapping we've done before, Sam, um, we're going to do just like the regular loop. It's not going to be the double wrap loop. It's going to be the regular one. And we're going to do that for all of the main components. Okay. And then the only time we're going to do the double wrap loop is when we work on the chain, which I'll also show you just not right now. So we're going to start on this. And I wonder, so I think this will be better if we want to switch to my overhead. overhead and the and then you don't have to worry about this being in my face because you can't see my face. So <laughs> that looks good. Okay, perfect. So you are gonna need your cutters, preferably flush cutters, but regular wire cutters will also work. The reason I like flush cutters is because they give you a flat edge. And when you're doing this type of loop, the flat edge really um, keeps it from coming undone. It's like having a jump ring. The flat edges where you can twist the jump ring flush is what keeps it com from coming undone. If it had two pointed edges, things would flip through. Does that make sense? Totally. Okay. So I'm gonna start out with my jade. And you're also gonna need round nose pliers. We're, that's, we're starting with our 20, right? 20 or 22, cool. depending on what you're using, preferably 20 okay. to fit through your main bead. So I'm going to do my bend. I do, um, this is probably like, I, I eyeball it at this point. It's about three eighths of an inch. But whatever bend that you're used to doing. And then. Just for a normal make, loop, okay. Make my loop. So when you're making your loop, you want to start with. I should have done it. I'll do it on the other side. I'm gonna throw my bead on. Throw my beads on. I'm gonna keep the, the loop under my fingers so they're going the same way and just bend the wire over. You can also do this with pliers, but 
when I want to get it flush, I find it easier to do it with my fingers. I'm going to cut another one and you want to make sure that you're using your flush cutters in the way that you're going to get it flat. So just making it a... okay. Yeah. When you're doing your loop, you want to put your pliers, your round nose pliers, so that the tail of the wire is not sticking out. It's basically flush with the edge of the pliers. And this is what um, makes your loop round, basically. If you don't do this, it's going to end up more oblong. So then you bend it back towards you. Close it up. And basically, you should be able to open and close these like a jump ring now. You see how, let me show you this one, it looks better. Um, <laughs> how you can't really see the gap, that's what you want. So that when we connect everything on this necklace, it's gonna be really easy, just like connecting jump rings. Um, and you'll be able to move everything around. So cool. I do that. I did it 22 times on the, the uh, what's it called? The um, Art Deco one. Well, you'll see. You say 20 times, Rachel. <laughs> yes, I did it 22 times because I have 22 of the Art Deco beads on here. Oh my goodness, amazing. So I don't expect you to finish this necklace in this um, <laughs> live, probably. But so you can decide. But we'll certainly get us going. Yes. The nice thing about um, doing them this way, I don't know if I said this, is that you can also, it's really easy to rearrange them. So when I originally did this, I did it so that, I'll show you this one, because that's the original one I did. So that the Galaxy Wrap beads and the Art Deco beads, it was every other one. But then I was looking at it and I really, like the Galaxy Wrap beads, I didn't want to be the focal. I wanted the Art Deco ones to be the focal. So, these are so pretty. I wish that this light was better. <laughs> oh, I can see it fine. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. I don't know what I just did, but it looks great. Magic. You can see the, <laughs> the flash of the Labrador, Labrador eye right there. That's so pretty. But anyway, so I decided I like the look of the two Art Deco beads and then one of the Galaxy Wrap ones. So that is how I decided to arrange that. But yeah, again, doing loops like this where they're not double wrapped makes it really easy to move them around. Of course you could do that with the double wrap ones and use jump rings, but I try to use the least amount of jump rings as possible, partially because I don't super trust them as much as I trust myself. Um, but also because I think like, unless you're hanging other beads on them, I don't think they super add to designs either. Um, I like for it to be all about the beads. That's just a personal preference. If you love jump rings, please use your jump rings. You can get them in really fun colors too. Um, there's a lot of great people on Etsy making fun jump rings. I didn't so, know that. Yeah, I had ordered some a long time ago on like different uh, colors of like coated, I think it was like titan titanium or something. Um, I was making these like bottle cap necklaces and those are fun. So I'm gonna do another loop. So so that I have two of these to work with. The total necklace length that I did, if you're following my, um, my supply list, the total necklace length for the beaded portion is about 21 inches. So that when you pair it with the, um, the beaded chain we're gonna make, it, it lays the way it did in the picture. So if you want it to lay the way it did in the picture, that's the length you're gonna want once you have all your um, beaded part lined up. Does that make nice. sense? Yeah. Okay. You've done the math for us. I know. Sometimes I feel like I add a lot of extra words into sentences. I've been told that by my um, my baristas. They're like, you know, you just keep talking. <laughs> I got it the first time, and I'm like, clearly you didn't get it because that's not clean. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> The shade is coming out today, Rachel. I know. I know. I'm the worst. <laughs> no, I'm actually the best. I, I bet you're a great fun. boss. I'm great. Um, I follow them around and make sure they do their work. They love me. Um, 
my boss loves me and I think that's mostly what matters mm. oh there's um, <laughs> Lori says there's someone called the ring lord um that has lots of really cool bump rings oh, I said, nice. like we should I should do like you also make jump rings yeah I just, but they're not but mine were not mine weren't work hardened enough well you probably need to get either half hard or full hard wire and then mm -hmm. um you gotta like saw them and it's a pain and I like bod my finger and it's just I would much rather pay somebody else to do it right. honestly or there, a machine there's some things right that are are worth my time and some things aren't um Lynn, the materials list is listed on uh, the class announcement on um, the Here, various sites. I can post the link again. Um, Sam will post it in the comments. Did we post the materials list on your website, the Sam's Beach Shop website? Yeah, it's on the event page. So that's what I'll post, the, exact, the event link. OK, cool. Um, but I'll tell you before I use anything on here, just so you can like quickly grab it if you want. So we're using whatever beads you've decided to use, preferably the Art Deco ones if you have them, but um, I'm using Carved Jade right now, just to show you that this design is very versatile. So once we have these two loops, I'm gonna go ahead and connect them. You can also, I, if you're not sure, how long your necklace is going to be i would go ahead and connect them as you go so you don't make too many loops but sometimes i'll do like a bunch of i'll like assembly line style it it's just kind of however you like to work right so and also the nice thing about not using double wrap loops is it's so easy to adjust the length of this necklace at the end yeah and you could even if you made too many loops like if you did it ahead of time and you made too many you could even um make like a pair of earrings out of it or like a bracelet. All right, so I'm ready to move on to the next bead. Are you okay with moving on to the next one? Yeah, I'm actually the caught up with you for the, for the first, for, oh. for once. So I, yes, I am. Because <laughs> I haven't done anything too complicated yet. <laughs> <laughs> no shade, I love you so much. I love you too, Rachel. <laughs> you know I wouldn't be here every week if I didn't enjoy your presence. So Aww, I'm gonna start sweet. the next one um, the same way. And I'm gonna be working with my little moonstones this time. Whatever your middle accent bead that you're gonna do the extra wrapping on, that's what we're gonna go to. So like, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, and this is, we're staying with our 20 gauge wire and then we're gonna use our thinner yes. gauge wire this later. This is your 20 or 22 gauge right now. Great. So just don't go ahead of me. Just stay on whatever step I'm on, okay? Because it's yes, a little Rachel. bit different. So make your first loop, just like we did the last one, the open loop. And then you can thread your bead on. And let's see if this is, I use most of the moonstones that fit on this wire really nicely, but there we go. This one fit, perfect. Yay. So I've got that. And then you're going to want to leave yourself a little bit of space before you bend over. So bend it over. So whether that's putting your flyer bigger over, and I don't know how to word this, whether that's putting it on the wider part of the flyer, flyer and then wrapping it over. I was doing it with my little chain nose pliers and just bending it over. Um, it doesn't super matter as long as you're consistent with it. Um, I remember last time we did this this technique that I needed more space than I had a that I did at first, just so we could to get the wrapping on of another wire. Yeah, I um for this design, I decided that I kind of I liked it looking a little bit more um, compact, so I wrapped I kind of messy wrapped the wire over itself. I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. So you see, it's not like perfect. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit more volume and I like that. So just as long as you're keeping whatever the length is consistent, whatever um, room you have. Okay. Then that, um, so I am going to answer Lori's question. She said that she often does not judge the length right to make the eye um, too much or not enough usually. So I've been doing this for a really long time. I usually eyeball it, honestly. Um, it kind of depends on what your pliers are and what 
area of your pliers you want to be using. So you can measure around your pliers, like just get like a piece of tape or something and get how long it is. Or you can do, um, someone in the group suggested redo, redo, I think is how you, is it redo? Yeah. Am I saying her name correctly? I always worry I'm saying it wrong. Um, you can get bail making pliers and uh, the, these I think have like a three millimeter diameter and you just like do the math and see this, this one. Um, and that would help you. For my pliers, um, I kind of know which area is the right length. I know that's not super helpful. Um, for this like middle area of my pliers right here, leaving about three eighths of an inch is perfect. Um, one thing I will say is it's better to have too much than not enough. You can always um, kind of undo the loop and clip it off a little bit and then go back in with your pliers. As long as you were doing it pretty round, it, it, you won't really be able to tell. Um, I don't know, I'm hoping that's helpful. <laughs> Does that sort of answer the question? Yeah, I think it's one of those things just like you've done it so many times that it starts to become second okay. nature just by trying and redoing so many times. Yes, um, I wouldn't start a with- A lot of scrap pliers. wire. Yeah, scrap wire. Um, and I also use like, it, I'm, it's not incredibly helpful because I use tiny baby pliers that um, only people with tiny dwarf fingers use apparently. <laughs> but like you could use these. So if I use these, oh. So my three eighths of an inch is about, I don't know, I don't like this loop that much, but that's okay. It's about a quarter of an inch into these pliers. And Lori, if it's any I consolation. I don't think super standard either. Lori, if it's any consolation, I have to kind of some off about at least half the time make my loop work or start over, so. The good news is that as long as most of your loops are really good, nobody's gonna be looking too much at the loops unless they right. start coming undone. So right. as long as they look close to great, and that's the nice thing about handmade is like nobody's expecting to be perfect. They're just expecting it to be pretty. So unless totally. the loops are a big part, part of your design, I wouldn't stress it too much. <laughs> just from personal experience, I mean, People have bought my jewelry back when I first started and my loops were like the ones that you use like chain those pliers and just fold it over. You're your own worst critic. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. So, and I'm gonna grab one of the ones that I... Okay, perfect. Just wanna make sure your loops are closed. And then at this point, we're gonna get a piece of the 28 gauge or 26 gauge wire. Um, again, totally up to you. I'm using 28 because I'm almost out of 26. And I wanted to make sure I would 100% have enough. I keep, I keep adding stuff to like the cart for my silver order, but it's like, I just don't want to spend $250 right now. So, and I'm not one of those people that can just order a little bit at a time. I'm like all or nothing. <laughs> this makes sense for you. It just stresses me out to only do a little bit and then to know I'll have to do it again. I just want to, like, I order it so infrequently. I just want it done. So I have my piece of uh, 28 gauge and I'm going to, I'm going to line it up with like the top area. This is just so that I don't waste too much. Um, you can always leave yourself a bigger tail and hold on to it. Um, so if you hold it up here, you're just going to wrap it a little bit and just make sure it's pretty tight. And this is- I'm amazed how pretty. you're holding that so effort effortlessly. You can use your pliers, don't be afraid. Oh, okay, hold them together. Yeah, just hold the hold the wire on there just so you can twist. That actually will get you better wraps. I just am so used to using my fingers. Now I can't like get my pliers on there, there we go. Ooh, you I'm using do the my nylon jar grabbed it really nicely, both the wires. My nylon jars have a lot of holes in them. <laughs> so I don't really use them. <laughs> you, know the tip, you know, on some of the types of nylon jars, you can replace the tips. 
I mean, I probably could. I don't know. I've had all of my, I, it's really time for me to upgrade tools, honestly. I had all of these for so long, like at least 10 years for most of my tools. Wow. And they're not like super high end brands either. So I've been told that nice tools are, are better for your um, like hands and stuff. Yeah, I've always wanted a set of Lindstrom, but I've just, it just, I don't make enough jewelry for it to make sense. Yeah, so, um, so you don't need to wrap all the way down, just do a couple wraps to get it anchored. And then you're gonna take your stone, you're gonna thread on, um, thread on one of your beads, your, your little wrapping beads. I'm using the Jade Tinies that Sam has. Oh, I keep forgetting the special way you taught me to open, this changed my life opening the bags this way, honestly. It really has. You should you should show everyone. Okay, let me get a bigger bag. Um <laughs> Sam taught me this. Okay. He taught us I think in the last live. So what you do instead of like pulling them apart, you know, like everyone does, this is like a magic way you do. You just like except for when my hands are too sweaty, I can't do it. But um you just like kind of grip it a little bit tighter and then you just like slide it. And then it just opens. And that is from my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam's grandpa. Because that's how he opens his grocery bags at Trader Joe's. He puts them between his fingers oh. until they open. But, like, wait, what grocery bags? Which, like, like, you know, like, like a bags? like a produce bag that you know how it's impossible to open them. So he rubs them between his fingers. See, and I then lick he... my fingers, but you can't do that now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I threaded my little bead on, and okay. before I do, before I do anything, I'm gonna, I want to hold the, especially because I'm, this will be a lot easier if you use longer beads, like, um, like these stick pearls I use in the original design, I'm making it a little bit difficult on myself by using these little moonstones, but if you're using a small bead, you'll want to kind of hold it down near the bottom um, towards the area that you already wrapped. So I'm gonna kind of anchor it with my fingernail. And then- I'm gonna change my small bead. So you can, you keep going. Yeah. I just, I, I realized then, so I've got you a have a high contrast thing there. going. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap on top of it. So that uh, on top of the other bead, the moonstone that I've got here, so that it's, it's not going anywhere. And this is where I'm going to do a little bit more of a layered wrap because I'm making my whole thing kind of like a little bit more of a messy wrap. So I'm wrapping a little bit extra up top so that when I wrap around bottom, it'll match. And then we are going to I'm just realizing that I wrapped my tiny beads for the other necklace a different way than I wrapped the tiny beads for this one. Like on the chain part. Mm -hmm. That's okay, I'll show you both ways. This way is 100% the same on both ends. All right. And then, uh, okay, so after you do that, you're going to thread on your other tiny bead. I always try to like do it by like sticking the wire through the bead on the mat, and that just never works. Just pick it up. <laughs> if you ever watch me struggling, that's what. try it and try it true. Bead your bead. Yeah, just pick it up. <laughs> Don't try to be fancy. Just pick it up. Um. So then I'm gonna wrap this other one around. You just kind of want to keep make sure that the bead stays on whatever bead you're wrapping it around. And then I'm gonna wrap my wire around the top. And whenever I feel like it, I'm going to clip it off and then I'll just tuck it a little bit with my chain of stars. There we go. So pretty. Okay. Let me get a piece of copper and show you that brighter. Okay. 
I love the black and sterling, but it's a lot harder to see. I will admit that. What is this? Uh, come on, here's 26. Lynn said for Che Mel, um, she loves her baby Wubbers. For wire wrapping, um, I've been enjoying Zuron's. Lindstrom's are way too big for my little hands. Oh, I've, I've heard of Zuron's. I, I just lost a piece of wire. Where did it go? I lose everything in here. They're itty bitty beads. They go bye bye <laughs> very I easily. I a piece of wire, but yeah. I'm lucky that my cat. Anything, anything on a beading table. Anything, everything is gone. I have to hide, like I can't leave wire out because one of my cats will take it and run with it. Like I've caught him like running around the house with like a big ball of wire. He's a oh, big goodness. Big, like I think he thinks it's like a fancy shoelace. Like so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do that initial wrap again. Um for I'll do it with my you. little moonstone. Um this is with my 22 gauge or 20 gauge wire. I think this was one of the stones that like barely fit on it. Let's see if I can get it on there. No. Try the other direction also because um, hole sizes are larger on one side. But also I don't force it. Or something soon. I didn't know oh. hole sizes are larger on one side. Actually, I really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know. Lynn Belmont was telling me about that because of how Why they how that? they burr um, Indian cut beads. I'm gonna force it. It's okay. I have more that won't fit on this wire. So, <laughs> so there's that. Oh, this is gonna make it hard to wrap around though. Now that I've like forced it on here, but whatever. So I'm gonna bend it over with a little space again. For anyone that's new to wire wrapping, um, I've said this before, but I'm gonna reiterate it, that when you're about to clip wire, just kind of have your finger somewhere near it to keep it snapping. Like sometimes they'll like shoot off and you don't wanna like hit yourself in the eye because I definitely did that like a week ago. Um, I, for, like, the first time in forever. So you- Yeah, you, you told me that. You don't wanna do that. Um, so definitely like, You'll see how, like, when I have a longer piece of wire, I'll kind of tuck it between my fingers just so when I clip it off, it stays. So here's this. Here's my bead. Yeah, you can see it so much better like that. And then I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take the 20, this, I actually did grab 26 gauge this time, just to, like, give you yeah. a little something to look at. But, um, you know, you should follow my plier tip because it is a lot easier that way. So holding it up top with the pliers. If I can hold the pliers, I'm now a lefty. Usually I'll put things in my right hand, arrange them, and then I'll switch hands. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I, I think, okay, I, I just grabbed my oh, wire. You just watched me struggling. Um, okay. Oh, no, I did it because I was so focused on getting my own, <laughs> my own wire to, to stay. Okay. Oh, and I lost it. Okay. So I've got my little wrap going on there. Remember, I didn't do it all the way. I just did a little bit and then I'm going to slide the bead if I can quite tight on here. Tuck the wire a little bit more. And then I'm going to thread on one of my tinies. These jade tinies are so pretty. I want them all. <laughs> I want to build a house out of them. You know, last week you said, I want the rest of the rubies, and then you bought some, and then everyone else bought all the others. I wanted to share. I didn't buy all of them. I wanted to share. Michelle was very nice and asked me if I needed more, and I never need anything. That's very honest. <laughs> but it was so sweet of her. I was like, no, I want you to enjoy them, too. I don't want to hog them. But these and Lori, I know Lori so just got beautiful. some. I love the ruby. I mean, I have I got the ruby and sapphire mixed strand, which is also very pretty. Those are not quite as tiny as the the rubies uh, that were the two as millimeters. A, right, right. And you know, I got I have a full strand of the dark blue sapphires. 
you know, just one, but I, um, going up tomorrow in the itty bitty size. No, only one so, gram. No, no, no. I didn't. I just mean <laughs> I, I, I have those going up. I didn't buy a million I'm of like, them, but I'm gonna be like watching the group like a hawk. No, I have at least. I think there's eight in here. Uh oh, what happened to my? Oh, why is my boyfriend calling me? I told him not to call me. Hang on. Hey Rachel, I'm locked out. <laughs> He has a pee and he took it. I know he did. Oh. Just hang on. Let me just send him a text from my computer. You're good. I'll. I got the sapphires out. Ooh, I want to see them. So I'll let's see. Look at these dark blue sapphires. Oh, my Ooh, light is bad today. Let me grab my some light. <laughs> Like, oh, let me show you. Oh, and there's, oh. everything's going great today. They were okay. <laughs> they do look black, but in my photo, you will see <laughs> uh, that they're gorgeous blue. The one day I don't remind him that I'm doing my live, he's like, I forgot you were doing your live. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Um, okay, so can you, all right, there we go. So this is, you can see it a little bit better on here. So this is the Galaxy app. I thought we lost you for a second. You were very quiet. I'm here. Wait, so let's see. I just, I just threaded on my wire. I want to make sure I'm doing it with you again. Did you already finish? No, I can make another one. Maybe. I'm gonna find another. No, that don't know. worry about me. <laughs> no, um, let me let me grab like a longer bead uh, that we'll do it with, and then it'll um, what is the word I'm looking for? It it'll be easier to see if I have a longer bead. It'll be easier to work with too. If you're not used to working with wire, I definitely pick a longer bead to work with. Um, for this type of wrap because holding the little pieces is kind of a pain if you're not used to it. So I don't want you to have to focus on wrapping in addition to focusing on holding it if you're not used to either. Mm, I need another piece of wire though. There we go. So this is one of my little stick curls that I used on the original design. It's very satisfying watching you make a wrap. Oh, I'm glad. I've worked on it for 17 years, so. <laughs> it just, it just, it comes together perfectly. It, sometimes it doesn't, but that <laughs> what we're saying, like it always does. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to throw it on my bead. Um, and then again, I'm going to leave about the same amount of room because like I said, I kind of like the messy wrap on this. I like it being more compact um, rather than if I if I did the full wrap on each side, it would just make the, the thing longer, the connector longer. It's kind mm -hmm. of good. We're going to move on to the next part in just a minute. But um, so. I think it also, if you find like a spot on your finger when you bend it over that you kind of look at, it might be a little easier than like getting out your ruler every time. I'm kind of noticing that I kind of gauge it on where my finger is at too. Just because I hold the the uh, the wire the same pretty much every time. It's like um like crocheting or knitting. So whoop, I caught it. Nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna um. I think it's a little easier to see this too. I'm gonna move my hand further up. I wonder if I can, so the problem with the way I arranged the overhead thing this time is I can't really move it down because it will close the computer. So perhaps this is a failed experiment. <laughs> It'll close the computer? Yeah. Oh, your overhead. Your overhead. I was arranging my overhead differently this time. Oop. And I dropped it. Left hand for the win. I am not a lefty in any sense of it. Not maybe I will wrap this with my right hand. 
I think I also had too much coffee today. Um, you always have I'm a little so much sippy. coffee. I do have a lot. Some days more than others. Some days I'll have like so much that I'll get tired and I'll have to go to bed. Um, and take a nap. <laughs> or some days it like makes me really nauseous that I have too much. But today I kind of milked it all day because I don't work tomorrow. So I like was still sipping on it until like right before this when I decided to switch to club soda. Nice. I'm struggling so hard right now. Okay, there we go. I finally. This is why I don't ever do the plier thing because it. I just struggle so much. All right. It's in my way. Okay, so I've got my little wrap. Like I didn't do it all the way again. And I'm gonna tuck it. It's running away from me. My hands are quitting on me. <laughs> We're almost there, Rachel. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> They're like, you've been doing this all day. <laughs> okay, so there's that. I'm going to use the, um, the, uh, the jade just because it's what I have right here. I don't have the, lab or the Labrador out. So we're going to use the jade. Put it on. So with the longer beads, it's great because you don't really have to hold it. So you can kind of let it lay wherever it lays. And if you're more of a beginner, this is what I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend doing tiny beads like I did. Um, or not tiny beads. Yeah, no, tiny beads, like, but tiny in terms of this bead, not in terms of this bead, in terms of like the main bead. So then I'm going to wrap around the top. Watch me not have given myself enough wire. No, we're good. <laughs> and I'm going to thread on the other bead and wrap that up top too. You can also do the wrapping with your pliers if you want. It will get you a tighter wrap. If you don't have that strong fingers or you're not comfortable using your fingers, you can use both. So, one thing I will say is because I've wrapped the wire on here, the extra wire on here. Um, I was trying not to open these loops when I was constructing the necklace, even though I've done them this way. I um, I opened all the loops on my uh, main beads. So like my uh, Art Deco cut or these carved jades I have, I opened these. Just to keep me from, I don't know, from opening these and like risking the wire getting messed up or something. Yeah, I, yeah, I could see that. So I opened these. I can't work this. I'm losing my dexterity. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me today, Sam. Note to self, have uh, admin days on the live days and then make stuff the next day. <laughs> yeah, but you're having fun. So what are we, what are we gonna yeah. do? Um, okay, so that's connected. And then I would connect the two, um, two more of these on the other side. Yeah? Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, we're gonna switch, we're gonna switch gears. Because I want to make sure I am able to show everyone everything before. Hi. Hi. Lori says rubies. And yes, um, we actually we just sold out, but that was a pop. Oh, we have a kitty. Lori, that was a popular uh, item from the recent releases. Oh, he just knocked beads into my lap. What are you doing? Who is this, sweetie? His name is Oliver. He's beautiful. Hey, look at my boy. <laughs> he seemed to say hi. Yeah. Hi, Oliver. Okay, bye. For those just All joining, right. um, we're working on an Art Deco necklace. Are you willing to show it again, Rachel? Yeah, absolutely. It's right here. Tangled up with the other one. Uh, uh -oh. Art Deco is <laughs> the new cut um that we just got in at the shop and rachel's been designing with it so yeah, beautifully so hold on one second i got this tangled um there we go it i will say that actually i was worried about this tangling and it's not um nearly as tangly as you would think a two strand necklace would be it's actually like barely tangled at all oh, god i wish you could see these colors better because they are no so it looks pretty. great oh that's better 
I love the combo guys. of the strawberry quartz with the pearl and then also the little Labrador accents. It's so lovely. They're so pretty. Um, yeah, so this like, this really, I haven't had problems with it tangling and I literally like pile it up like this. The only tangling it was doing is I put it right next to the other necklace that is not finished and that one decided to tangle itself because it is not finished. Um, okay, so at this point, I'm going to um, show you how to work on the chain. Cool. Um, just so I get a chance to show you everything. I already have mine kind of made. Where is it? It's right here. I did a little bit different on this chain than I did on the other one, mostly because these beads are um, smaller and I didn't want to overshadow them. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, I don't need to be showing you with that finger. Um, <laughs> here was a reflex. I've <laughs> so this is the chain that I'm working on for this particular necklace. I'm working on with a card jade. Um, but for the one that I did with the Art Deco, my Labradorites were a little bit bigger, and I actually like half galaxy wrapped them on their own. Oh wow! I don't know if you can see that. You just said you did a wire over them. Yeah, so I'll show you that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you with the copper wire so that you'll be able to see. Uh, I am I do think I'm gonna go with a little bit of a bigger bead to show you this, just because the days are so small. I'm gonna just take I have like these little glass. I don't know if they're check. Yeah, but they're like these little glass sparkly black beads. So I'm gonna show you with those because I think the copper will show up better with them. So let me get a piece of 26 gauge. Like I said, you can use 26 or 28. Um, for this particular bit, it's a little bit easier with 26 just because it has a little bit more body, but the 28 is perfectly fine too. So, unlike the galaxy wrap I just showed you, um, this one we're not gonna do with two different pieces of wire. We're gonna do this all with one piece of wire. Oh, cool. So I just like lost my track. <laughs> uh, We're gonna make a loop. I'm, that, my guess yeah. is the loop comes first. Yeah, I'm losing my mind today. We're gonna see if I. All right. So oh, you're doing a double wrap loop. Yeah, we're going to do a double wrap loop and we're going to, it's going to be like an extra special double wrap loop because it's also going to have the chain on it. Oh, I lost the extra chain. I just had it. Oh, it's right next to me. That's a, here we go. So once I've got this loop, before I've even done anything with it, I'm going to thread the chain on. And then I'm going to come in here. I always want to use my round nose. Don't use your round nose. Just use your regular. Your flat nose. And I'm going to wrap just a couple wraps, not too much, just like one and a half. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to clip it. Excuse my hand shaking. Wait, like. <laughs> All right. Then I'm going to tuck it if it needs to be tucked. It does kind of need to be tucked. And then put my bead on. Okay. And then I'm going to take my. Uh, I'm going to use these again and just give myself a little bit of extra, more extra space than I usually give for a double wrap. Okay. Just because I always end up feeling like I didn't, I add like an extra wrap on the other side. I don't know. Just give yourself a tiny bit of extra space. Don't give yourself too much extra space. It's just a teeny tiny bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and form my loop on this side. Oh, that's a bad loop. We're going to pretend like it's beautiful. And Shut up and tell me I'm pretty. I know, right? I usually, I don't know what's happening with my hands right now. The last time this happened, I was in college and it was like three in the morning and we were sewing and like my hands just stopped working. Were you in the middle of an all-nighter? Yes, New York? I was. I had to have somebody else flip something, like flip a piece inside out for me. Um, okay, so I've got my loop <laughs> and I threaded my chain on it. And I'm going to hold it down with my pliers. And I'm going to do my three little wraps. 
three or four, however many you like to do. Boy. The only thing with this is that you got to keep moving the chain out of the way. And I'm sorry, but I have not discovered a better way to do that. Okay, so when you get to the last wrap, you're going to, instead of completing it and cutting it off, you're going to move your pliers down a little bit more to just get a better grip, and then you're going to go over the bead. You see that? Yep. Okay. Can I get a better light? Better? Maybe. Not really. I'm trying real hard with this light thing, y'all. And then you're gonna <laughs> the overhead's better when it's with the background. Oh, it is better. Okay. Oh, that's that. And then it lit itself back up. So Are you able to the... get us cl a little closer? Uh, less uh, ring light. So, but with the ring in it, for some reason, it like. There we go. just a little, yeah, that's it better. Fixes the lighting. <laughs> No, that's great. I just we were seeing all of it. I know it, but the light is better for some reason with it in there. I don't know why. Lori says, "Good thing you weren't on Project Runway for your for your hands giving out." I know, right? I, I used to watch that show right, so much. Right in the middle of a challenge. So then, at this point, you're gonna um, my wrap was not tight. Uh, you're gonna. You've gone over the bead, and then you're just going to finish your wrapping. You left like a little space on the other side. This is not going to be the most beautiful. I'm, I'm like losing it. <laughs> I, I feel you, Rachel. Don't worry. I'm sorry. As you said to me I once, like this failed. is a no stress zone. No, I'm stressing. I am. I don't like. I have this like perfectionist complex. You wouldn't know, but. So you here's care, what it you looks care like. a lot. I do. This is what it looks like with the wrap over it. Now, if you're using the really tiny beads like I was with the carved jade, or not the carved jade, the um, the little tiny jade tinies, I just did a normal wrap loop. Oh, you skipped. Uh, you skipped a normal. Going I over I skipped the galaxy part for these. They're they're small, and I didn't want to overshadow them. Is that slightly better. I don't know what is going on right now. There we go. So they're just regular wraps. So you're going to do that for the whole eight pieces of chain. You've got eight two inch pieces of chain if you're doing the dimensions that I was doing. And then, yeah, you're going to do it connecting. Do you, do you want me to show you how to, without the galaxy wrap, connect the um, bead to chain directly? I think, I mean, I, I think it's clear. Okay. I think we're yeah, good. You just, you just we're skip little, the galaxy we're, part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. And then once you get to the end, you've got your whole uh, chain like this. You're going to take, I'm going to show you on this one and then I can also do it. So I've got my two um, chains, basically. I've got my chain of beads and my chain of beads with the, um, with the wrapped little beads. And I did go ahead and put one of the wrapped little beads on each end of the chain just so that it would still be really pretty. Mm. Um, so I've got them all in between all the little pieces of chain and then also on the end. And then I took a jump ring and I put it through both of them. I don't see, will it please focus, focus. Okay, so there's a jump ring. And then I put another jump ring on and for this one I use the hook and eye clasp. Um, but you could also use, I mean, you could also use a uh, lobster clasp, which is what I was going to put on this one. It kind of just depends. I really, I had this clasp and I really liked it with the art dugger. Oh, it's, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> and then for the other side, I, I just did the same thing. So you just finish it however you would finish a normal necklace. Um, I keep getting out of focus, <laughs> out of the camera. But uh, yeah, I don't know. See, it's, the lighting is so much better when I have half of the ring light in the camera. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so you just start them both through a jump ring. That way they're not um, moving all about. I thought about connecting one of them, the smaller chain, to the big Art Deco bead, but I like the way this looks better. 
I like that it gives each strand its own ability to kind of like free move. It keeps it, I think it also keeps it from getting tangled, honestly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, is there any part of this that anyone wants me to go over again really quick? Does that make sense? I have high from behind the, the light. <laughs> yeah, if anyone has any questions, let us know. Do you want to see um, what I what mine turned into during the class? It kind of changed. Yes, I would love to. The way you said that reminded me of your chain monster, and I got worried for a second. What did I say? Oh yeah, no, just the way you said. Do you want to see? Oh I no! The day you brought out the chain monster, and we all were oh, horrified. I still have that. <laughs> That's what I use today. So. <laughs> You know how I was using the car, the the little jade. Let me spotlight so you can actually see this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Amelia, so the uh, the strand of just beads, the ones I had, the Art Deco and the Galaxy Wrap beads, I did about twenty one inches, and then for the smaller um strands, or not the yeah the smaller strand with the chain and the double wrap beads, I did the um, I did eight two inch long pieces and then I wrapped the little beads in between so it ended up being um and I wrapped ones on the end as well I think it ended up being like 19 inches um for that particular one um but as long as as long as you use the beads you use on the beaded chain aren't too huge it'll end up laying pretty much exactly like mine is your goal is your goal to have um each strand about the same or the chain went a little shorter? Um, my goal, I mean, it kind of depends what you are, but I wanted to do more of like a layered look so it kind of looked tiered. Mm -hmm. So my goal was for the inner one to be shorter, but not like, I just want a snare pod. Um, so short, can you still hear me? Um, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. I don't know how AirPod works. Um, I wanted it to be shorter, but not like so short that it didn't look like they went together and not like so long that they were competing for each other. I like that. Here's here's what I did. Okay, let me see. Oh, I literally, I can't use technology. There we go. Oh my goodness, there we go. So I had been doing, using the jade rounds but there was no contrast. There wasn't enough contrast on the on the agate. So I was like, carnelian, something bright. And I love the combo. The carnelian's so pretty. And look with the chain. I'm obsessed with the carnelian with a copper chain. Yes. I love it so, with the green too. And just to scare you for Halloween. No, don't show us the chain monster. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> chain monster. <laughs> It looks like a Muppet. <laughs> it's, 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 I got this for, I told, I told y'all a while back, this is from Thailand and it came, I, it came like this out of the bag. <laughs> and like they try, they obviously tried because there's a wire in it from them that's trying to, oh, I took it out. And so it's been like this since 2012 and I've just been it, snipping off of it what I, what I want. It looks like you're getting close to, uh. You're just going to end up with like a bunch of like one inch pieces. <laughs> but look, I can still pull out chain from it. So I'm not getting rid of my wow. chain monster. It's my I chain monster. I didn't tell you to get rid of your chain monster. That's a waste. But it also. You just told me to hide it and be ashamed of my chain monster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give every all the good people anxiety about your chain monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty. I just like, I look at it and I want to fix it and I know that I can't. Oh, I've tried. I've sat with it and there's, it's, there's no helping this. <laughs> Which earring, um, Lori, are you talking about? Do the earring like, next time? Yeah. Maybe the hammered one, or it could be. I yeah, I'm gonna guess the hammered one. That would be cool. Cool. Um. Well, if anyone has any questions, just like this is the time to hit us. But we're gonna wrap up. Um. We hope 
everyone We're enjoyed gonna this. Wrap up. What nope, I say? Oh, ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not funny. I got it. With like this one. I'm going to guess if Downton Abbey, I'm going to guess she was, that Lori's talking about that hammered one. Oh, oh, like down at the end of the, the whole necklace. Oh, that would be fun. Let me see. Not that I read the whole comic because I, I was, I was trying to read quickly. Let's see. You could lay this necklace. Oh, using that, that component as a focal. That's so, I love that. Oh, okay. So yeah, that one. Let's see. I'm going to hang it on there. I'm curious. It doesn't go with this necklace at all, but. <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah, actually it does nice. It's nice to add a centerpiece to that. I also like designs like how you originally did it because they make it so versus versatile mm -hmm. for like what you can wear it with because it's like there's only two simple colors and like there's not too much going on it just means you can wear it with so many more things oh uh, she said on a separate shorter chain so it would be like like more like choker style i guess with the two longer necklaces is that what what else would be cool though larry necklace is a thing i'm working on i never used to like do it but it's very popular how many strands are you gonna go up to no i mean it's the thing i'm, I'm working on wrapping my head <laughs> 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 i try really hard but it's just it's not i'm so used to i get so like stuck in my way I, yeah uh I think we should end it there for today. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, oh, I have to show this one. I had this one cool bead. I just wanted to show everyone if my light is not terrible. Look I think at these. it's still on me. Oh, no, it's not. Just kidding. You did it back. Look at these strands. Can you see that? I'll go overhead. Uh... Look at these chakra strands. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about those. They have, they're Strange. so gorgeously cut co coins. Am I freezing? I think my internet's bad. Oh. Am I back? I thought okay. it was me. Yeah, you're back. <laughs> um, has appetite and lapis and carnelian and green adventuring and quartz and like citrine. Like, I just think this, these are so gorgeous and garnet. So I'm excited. Those are going That's up so tomorrow. Pretty. I love it when you get mixed sale. strands. The, I mean, they're the best. You just like you need to fill in a color for design. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Mixed strands. Perfect. Um, Alrighty, we're gonna Rachel and I are gonna sign off. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. To everyone who joined. Um, this yep, is your last you make, chance to leave. If you a, make oh. anything like, ooh, I didn't do it this time. Um, if you make anything, <laughs> definitely post it in the gem chat. We would love to see. Yep. Um, I'll post a link to and the gem chat right now. And if you missed any of our old videos, they are now all on YouTube. Super easy to so, find. Oh, Lori, Sam asked, has you, Lori asked if you can subscribe. You can now subscribe to Sam's Beach Shop on YouTube. So just search Sam's Beach Shop on YouTube. Give us a little subscribe. We have 17 subscribers right now. Maybe we could get that up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way to a Ferrari, my friend. Um, <laughs> I'm basically David Dobrik, so here we go. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Cool. Thank you so much, yeah. Rachel. Have a great weekend. Thank I'll you, see you Sam. tomorrow. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Yeah. Uh, you will? You mean like in well, the comments? <laughs> yeah. Or we'll text. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.